Hello and welcome to a collective message. This is about 10 minutes long and we're going to be diving into what you as a collective in terms of the message that I channel, what you need to hear right now. And we really focus on the now and more so looking at that. Right now, there is a huge shift in terms of what you're working on. There is major action in creation. Um, in terms of the action, though, it's going to be a lot more of the internal kind of like action that you need to do for the outside action to get there. So more of the planning, more of the logistical kind of like technical things that you need to do in order to really have the outside be very organized and very much so efficient it's all about looking at the efficiency in terms of your emotions in terms of making sure that you're taking action in turn of the imagination part by really organizing so that it can be shown on the outside. So when it comes to the organizing, there is a lot more openness that you're going through in terms of acceptance, what really is possible. You could say that the gates are wide open, which is great because you're allowing things in. And when you allow things in, you also allow the outside to help out. You're allowing the outside to help out. And this is a lot through giving rest to needing to control any situation and saying, okay, let's say there's a situation that makes you uncomfortable. You walk away this time. Instead of having the need to stand up and fight, you walk away. This need to stand up and fight, this need to like take over, really was coming from a place more on the ego side where you felt like you didn't trust yourself in kind of like the decision making for the outcome. There is a lot of situations where you could have welcomed in but before you didn't now you're getting to a place where you are welcoming in which is great <sighs> definitely you're getting to a place of more of the kind of silly like you're just having fun and you're just going with the flow because <sighs> i'm getting this fact of or maybe not fact, but I'm getting this idea that you really have felt stuck in situations and the way that you're getting unstuck in those situations is by having fun and by trying to find ways to ignite the like fun you had as a kid. And this is something that as a feeling like this type of like fun right where you're just feeling ease of life you're just kind of it's like you're able to laugh a lot and feel really giddy and basically all that weight of really like the stressful life of being an adult it starts to lift away and it starts to dissipate so it's kind of, i'm getting this the more that you concentrate on being like a kid in terms of in the past, what did you do as a kid that you were like, this is so fun and you're like always happy and just in the moment. I'm getting that as an adult right now, like right now, what will help you lift a lot of those blockages that you might feel inside a lot of like, things in terms of maybe it's going really fast and you're having a hard time catching up or you're having a hard time kind of maneuvering and really trusting which way to maneuver tuning into basically doing what you did as a kid 
but now and really tuning into the feeling of what you get now because it's kind of like it's right you're riding a bike and you're just getting back in track of what is enjoyment what is this kind of like child enjoyment and you're able to really relax and get through when it comes to all the chaos around you it's about really being able to control kind of like inside of you so that the outside doesn't influence the inside so it's like if people are on your outside other people are really chaotic and they're unsured in themselves that unsurety won't go to you because one you have control over yourself because the more present you are the more you're like oh i totally am catching on to this kind of like outside influence you catch yourself and then you get to a place where you have that control because you're in the present moment and before where you were uncomfortable because of other people you aren't you're just like kind of you're using a lot of the knowledge that you have recently gone through in terms of isolation there have been some kind of period uh i don't know the length i'm getting like three to six months it could be at the beginning of the year but you've been in this interesting isolation period where it has been a lot of deep research within this deep research within this is a lot in tune of your boundaries in tune of um getting to know the balance of who you are without any outside influence and especially your emotions in a safe place i'm getting a lot of shadow work is happening where you're being able to come together um and kind of like think about and talk about topics with yourself in a way where it feels like the outcome is good and it's like a very kind of like kind of nonchalant very casual meeting with yourself but i'm getting this it's like you're starting to ultimately be able to ride out any storm because you know how to um, steer your ship through the storms, like through emotional storms more than anything. Because I'm starting to see this, like you're, you've been feeling a lot of difficulty due to people outside of you influencing you in terms of how to deal with your own beliefs and in terms of how to deal with your own uncomfortability and you've been really going through and sorting through these beliefs and seeing what isn't like necessary for you to continue and really learning how to drop those how to drop them how to kind of like basically take them off the pedestal um, and I'm getting the people, the situations, the, um, really going back and looking at situations where before you felt like your power was taken from you and you were taking your power back by looking at the present you perspective and knowledge and mind and kind of giving judgment with that as well so it's kind of like you wear glasses in terms of how you see the world you're starting to put the present moment glasses on and the past you the glasses off 
Bye, everyone.